what you'll see in the video is remember north in fulton county they shut down voting around i think it was around nine o'clock nine thirty or so and they tell everybody to go home well four people stay and the video shows those four people start going through with ballots and by the way uh you're not supposed to count ballots when there's no poll watchers when there's no one there when there's no one there uh verifying the votes are done correctly that you're doing the process right they were also pulling these ballots out of boxes from a specifically placed table that you could see earlier in the morning. This table, the black one, was placed there by the lady with the blonde braids at about 8.22 a.m. in the morning. So she put that table there. So the same person who's staying behind now, the same person who cleared the place out under the pretense that we're going to stop counting, is the person who put the table there at 8.22 in the morning. Yeah, I saw four suitcases come out from underneath the table. Yeah, upper right hand, you see the gentleman in the red. So he just pulled one out. The poll watchers were cleared out, some of the other poll staff. Uh, remember, you've got state officials in there, you've got bipartisan officials in there, you've got Republican officials in there, and Democrat officials in there, all told to leave, and yet then... The ballot counting continues. This looks like ballots are being, you know, additional ballots are being put up and they've been put up before. The problem is we know in the context that video, we see the people being sent away. We know, Harry, that everybody was being sent away. The video, I think, also shows that these ballots were accumulated before the vote count started. That gives rise to a very strong inference that we have sufficient hard evidence of fraud. I think most Americans would believe uh, that misconduct did, in fact, occur. Fraud is something that a lawyer should be very careful before he starts using yep. that word because it means particularity in, in exactly the act that were committed. And you have to plead that fraud with great particularity. But it seems to me that when you tell an entire group of people, go home, we're not counting, and then you start yanking boxes out from under tables and opening suitcases and pulling ballots out, that it pretty much smells like what it really ultimately comes out to be. I've noticed in the last 24 hours, specifically the last 24 hours, that members of Congress are now really speaking out on this issue finally. We said at the time there is no justification for stopping the counting because both campaigns, Jay, have observers in the room on election night. They have prepared for that. And by stopping the vote and resuming it later, you have opened the door for fraud and irregularities. We said it at the time. And this was a situation, Jay, we, of course, didn't know about this video that we see today, but we said this. This is where problems come in. And in Georgia, I think it's conclusively clear. A problem came in, and I will tell you, on the federal level, today you have started to see uh, federal officials, members of Congress, members of the United States Senate say there has to be an explanation for this. A judge with a sufficient amount of gumption or state officials with sufficient amount of gumption, they should act immediately uh, to A, investigate but B, invalidate the certification that they've issued previously until this is cleared up. Where's the Federal Bureau of Investigation now? Now, I know they just can't, it just surfaced, give them an opportunity to do it. Well, they may be, for all we know. And they may be, or the the GBI, Vic Reynolds, who is former DA in Cobb County, good friend of mine, head of the GBI. You ought to be looking at this. But I say to Brad Raffensperger, you Secretary of State in Georgia, grow a spine finally show some guts. Brian Kemp, grow a spine, finally show some guts. Don't certify any electors until we run to ground exactly what happened that night in Fulton County when everyone was sent home because of a busted water pipe. A lie. And now you're pulling ballots out from under tables. Don't certify this election until we know what happened in our state. A crime was committed in this video. You cannot count ballots in Georgia without any election observers, either from the Secretary of State's office, from the county, the registrar's office, all of this. You're supposed to have nonpartisan, at least, observers there. And you certainly can't send them home and then start the counting again without letting them know you're starting the counting again. So a crime was definitely committed. 100%. Georgia law was violated. And now the Georgia governor is saying we need to verify all the signatures and do an audit.